major step forward in Halo Infinite's development cycle. Stay tuned throughout the entire video to understand the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another commentary here. We're talking about Halo Infinite and the current progress that it's in. We have some new news coming in for you guys talking about that game. So if you want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap that like button to let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are going to be on this video. And if you're new to the channel, stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe along with the bell because we all know sub boxes be kind of weird at times so let's get right into the video here so a major step forward has taken for halo infinite and that is the creation of the pro team that's going to be at 343 they did this back in halo 5 and now they're bringing it over to halo infinite essentially what the pro team is going to do they're going to bring in a crew of really high level skilled players that know halo through and through all the little details that we all love about the game. These guys know it like the back of their hand because they grind out this game like crazy. And so what they're gonna do, they're gonna hire in a few people to kind of play test maps, give their feedback and try to give some updates and possibly like maps, gameplay and rather other things as well. We know that the pro team is being created right now because they recently just hired the team lead for that. We have West Price, otherwise known as Clutch, who you may have noticed from the analyst desks quite often at different Halo uh, events. He was recently at UGC, very commonly at the HCS table as well, just kind of talking about matches, analyzing gameplay and giving his thoughts on like what players have been doing and how to improve. And he knows competitive Halo. He used to be a competitive Halo player as well. And so it's good to know that 343 is grabbing people from the community over to hopefully make Halo Infinite the game we all hope it to be. Wes recently posted up on Twitter saying, For over a decade, Halo has played a huge part in my life. I'm excited to announce that I have accepted a position at 343 as pro team lead. I can't wait to continue my journey with the franchise working on Halo Infinite. So what does this tell me? I say that they have at least a rather playable build right now of Halo Infinite for you to play. Now obviously I'm sure a lot of things are up for change, basically anything, and that's why they hire these guys. So they, they can refine that gameplay down to the minute details that are needed for to have a, in, a very depth oriented Halo game. 343 does this back for Halo 5 and if you watch one, episode 1 of the sprint it goes into talking about balance and where they talk about uh, they focus on specifically the map midship that remake uh, they have in Halo 5 called Truth and how they brought in like players like Gosiyami and some other rather notable players of Halo to come in and you know, help shape the game to what they want it to be. Uh, they showed examples of how they added in that jump up area in the bottom of each base in Truth so the players have more options of getting out of bottom of the base. And rather map in different kind of map tweaks. I'm sure they also had to take a part of also weapon balance as well. I have conversations about this and players who play at this high of skill level are able to analyze gameplay this well. And what uh, Wes is going to be doing is going to be taking in suggestions from the players and essentially kind of putting a nice priority list behind all of those of high priority, mid priority, and low priority requests for when it comes to uh, the gameplay and map design and just general gameplay of Halo Infinite. Now, I'm sure some people probably watching this video might have some concerns talking about that because uh, we do know that Halo 5 is a rather sweaty game. It's It was one of the biggest issues when the game first launched was that the casual audience, you know, the majority of your player base is rather casual that play these kind of games. And then you have a good portion though that are rather competitive or play the game competitively. I would say I kind of fall in line in between the competitive sweaty player and also a casual player. I'm kind of in that middle ground area. And when Halo 5 launched, it was very competitive as in I think every game mode was ranked. I think even Big Team Battle was ranked for a while there as well. And a lot of casual players didn't have their outlet with Halo 5. And so I think there was a lot of sentiment saying that like this pro team that was with Halo 5 really helped shape the game for their liking and then the casual aspect of everything was kind of left behind and slowly integrated in. And from the way Halo 5 first launched, I can totally understand that because you need to have your casual game modes, you need to have your casual unranked slayer, your big team battles, your super fiestas, infection, things like that because people love playing those casual modes. If you see the most populated modes right now in Halo 5, super fiesta has been king 
for years because it's probably the most casual, most random, fun version of Halo 5 to play. But you also need to give it outlet for a lot of players who play this game competitively, which is definitely going to be in the mindset of making Halo Infinite. But I think right when the game first came out, the Halo 5 had this really bad connotation, I guess, of it being a really competitive game since every game mode was ranked when it first launched and they kind of blamed the pro team written 343 for making the game too difficult. I think it was just that 343 didn't provide all the options for the casual players and so then it kind of first impressions really kind of weren't the best for your majority of your player base but if when halo infinite launches i'd say a big focus needs to be having you just need like one outlet really a couple outlets maybe of like your competitive like slayer your uh, mlg playlist if you want to call it that and also your casual playlist like quick play like we have in halo 5 infection big team battle super fiesta those need to be in at launch because really right now in Halo 5, it's all about Team Arena. That's really the truly competitive game mode in Team Arena. Your skill really does show because of the way the game is set up. And that's really the one mode that everyone plays if they're going to be like competitive playing in Halo 5. So you don't need to have so many ranked or so many um, pro style playlists. You just need to have like one, two, those guys will be happy. Just give them the playlist where you need to have everyone else be able to have their outlet as well. But this pro team will be able to help give you guys a much more refined experience and be able to find these nuances that your casual player might not be able to pick out or articulate as well as a pro player might be able to. You know, pro players know these ins and outs of these games. They know the little details that kind of help give you that depth of gameplay that will help keep it very addictive and fun. You know, find out things like the boost slide where you can slide across the ground, jump and get your momentum to kind of slide across the map super fast using the spring jump mechanic, which so you can kind of jump up to different elevations that you might not usually be able to get to, which is a very difficult move, but if you're able to pull off, it's super rewarding. The ability to hang in the air while you're trying to hold, hover with your uh, jetpack is a skill gap as well, because you gotta kind of have to, you know, spam your crouch button while, crouch, while hovering in the air to kind of hang up a little bit higher so you can reach those higher elevations. And then having interesting maps that can kind of you can utilize these different maneuvers together to kind of create some unique gameplay. Like watch Shotzi, if you ever watch him play Halo 5, it's ridiculous. This guy's moving around the map like I've never seen anybody do it before, which kind of creates this whole nother level of a skill that's needed for a game and something that pro players, like I said, can pick up on or casuals might not be able to articulate or you know know of these certain angles so well. And plus I think with the competitive setups, they do like a very basic level of Halo. They don't like a whole lot of extra things going on where say like a cat more casual players might like a lot more of explosions, <laughs> let's say. And so then uh, I think that the pro team will help provide a nice solid base for Halo Infinite and then the team can kind of build up on top of that to kind of give it a little more casual fun so the majority of players can enjoy it. Like another thing this pro team can hopefully provide is a bit of synergy when it comes to your professional playlist and your just basic level gameplay. Uh, we know that Halo, Halo 5 when it first released really tried to have this synergy between pro play and your actual game, the base game that you play, which I think is also very important to have that synergy between the, your casual ranked playlist and your MLG playlist so players can who are playing the game can understand what they're watching when they're watching these pro events that kind of help get that connection between the two because if you're able to play the exact same game but then just see these guys do it at a really high level it makes things so much more uh, entertaining. I believe players can also have, well viewers can have a better ability to connect with the gameplay as well. Uh, though we saw that over the years of Halo 5 being out that uh, you know they obviously try to do exactly you know Team Slayer for yeah, ranked Team Slayer in the competitive playlist and it just it wasn't exactly working out for a lot of players until like the last year of competitive Halo 5 where they removed Ground Pound, they removed the autos, they removed Spartan Charge, they have the motion tracker and sensor instead of your regular motion sensor and I think just those minor tweaks really lose that synergetic feeling where you feel like that's their playlist, I play the other majority base level Halo, where I think what I would like to see have happen is have a game that's fun on the casual level, but have that exact same game, 
also really fun for the high level competitive gameplay. And that's really hard to do where you have something that's ease of access, but something super difficult. Something kind of like chess, you know, it takes 10 minutes to learn, but it takes an absolute lifetime to master. And I would love to have that same kind of mentality go into Halo Infinite. So what are you guys' thoughts on this pro team? you have anybody you would like to see in particular part of this team as well? For me, I would definitely want to see Shotzi because this guy knows movement in Halo 5. Like I've never seen anybody do that, and I think he can probably find ways to duplicate that in Halo Infinite as well. He just likes to jump in custom games and just jump around, find new angles do new things and surprise people and I think that's the kind of player who can help kind of break the game if you will to shed light on certain things that maybe the team wouldn't be able to normally pick up on. If you guys like this video please make sure to tap that like button let me know if you want to see some more content like this leave a comment down below what your thoughts on our on this pro team coming into Halo 343 and if you're new to the channel want to stay up to date with anything Halo related please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell if you're new to the channel miss any content from me check out the videos on the screen right now I'll catch you all in the next video peace out